Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all a bit of a recap on Project 333 which I did over the autumn fall season. I thought I'd just let you know in case you are keeping an eye out for it, I will be doing a winter capsule wardrobe which will be up next weekend so keep your eyes peeled for that. It is not going to be much of a talky video, I think I might do a little intro but aside from that I've got a few ideas and it's going to be a little bit different to the types of capsule wardrobe videos I've done in the past so I hope you guys will like it. Anyway, um, on to project 333. So I finished this up at the very end of May and I have to say I found it a lot easier than I thought I would. I anticipated that I'd find it really difficult only being able to access a small part of my wardrobe but in fact it turned out to be really easy and I think the reason for that is because I chose the pieces that I really love and I have narrowed down my wardrobe a lot in the last year. I also wasn't shopping which I have done in the past a lot when I've done capsule wardrobes or what I meant to be on a shopping ban. So for a change, I don't have anything that I'm just dying to get my hands on, dying to wear, and it just made it a lot easier this time around. So I definitely recommend not shopping when you're doing a wardrobe challenge like this because it makes it a lot harder and it makes it really tempting to rifle through your wardrobe and wear those new pieces because I mean, if you're buying something new, of course you wanna put it on straight away, or at least I usually do. I generally wear it within a week. So one of the things during this challenge has really instilled in me is how important or how easy uniform dressing makes your life. It kind of meant that I didn't have to think so much in the morning about what I was going to wear. I knew which 33 pieces I had at my disposal and I would go, okay, well, today I really wanna wear this top or I really want to wear this skirt and then I'd run through my head very quickly which tops or bottoms that I had to go with it and then that would be it. I also kind of look at the weather just to make sure that what I was wearing was weather appropriate which going towards the end of May a lot of what I was wearing wasn't just because it got really really cold and I wasn't really prepared for how chilly it was going to get this year. I think the fact that I had a lot of very neutral colors and actually when I look back on it I had a lot of black in my capsule wardrobe it just made it so much easier because everything went together I mean black goes with everything and the times that I did wear color it was just a little bit more fun like my lemon printed dress which I got a lot of wear out of especially once I started throwing a jumper over the top of it and I got a lot of compliments on what a great skirt I was wearing as well I'll just add um, which if you've got summer dresses, one of the best ways to kind of make them work for autumn or fall is to just throw a nice plain jumper over the top and a little necklace and it makes you look really put together. One of the things that I really focused on with my capsule wardrobe was proportions and making sure that I wore certain types of proportions with different pieces. So if you've read Anushka's blog, Into Mind, which I'll link down below, she explains a lot of how this works and how you can instill this into your daily uniform, but by using different pieces. So it's a really great resource if you haven't read it yet. So I will make sure that I pop that in the down bar below in case you'd like to check it out. But that's one of the things that I really focused on. So for me, I kind of like to do things more fitted on the top and then have a more flared skirt or else something slightly loose on the top with a flared skirt or a slim trouser with kind of a loose top. So I really focused on that kind of proportion throughout the capsule challenge and I found it really worked for me. The other thing is that I obviously wasn't caring that I was wearing the same pieces over and over again. So if that is a bit of a deal breaker for you, then you're not going to enjoy doing this challenge at all. Like, I don't really mind if I'm wearing the same pair of pants three times in one week. Um, and it's kind of one of those things that I've come to terms with in the last two years because before that I used to like going shopping a lot and it's just it's kind of a little bit fun getting something new and when you do you want to wear it and sometimes you just want to wear a new outfit but um, now that I've started wearing the same things over and over I've been giving my favorite pieces a lot of love and that kind of makes me happier than having something new hanging in my wardrobe so it's also that, and I think it helps that I've been doing it in combination with the five-piece French wardrobe challenge. 
In terms of the negatives, I would say that for me, it was the fact that I set my capsule so far in advance. I think I started planning it about two months before I actually did the challenge just because I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it or not. And I wanted to make sure that my capsule was perfect. And looking back on it, it really wasn't. I ended up pulling some pieces out. I really didn't prepare for the fact that it might get really cold. So I had to pull in a winter coat. I got rid of a lighter jacket. I got rid of, you know, some skirts in place of other ones. And and I just overall I found that I hadn't really planned that well and I probably would have been better off including some other pieces that I hadn't so if I go back again I would probably only set maybe 25 items of my 33 and then leave the other eight spare so that as time went on I could find out what I also needed to include so just focusing on those core items that I knew I'd wear a lot and then leaving some space for extras the other thing is that I'm a real stickler for rules, so when it comes to doing a challenge like this, I want to make sure that I do it perfectly by the way that I have set the rules. So, I mean, I didn't really have any special occasions set out for the, for the last three months, but if I had, I wouldn't have really had anything to wear because I didn't allow for that. So, I probably would have been stuck, I would have felt really uncomfortable at the event that I'd gone to, and so I don't really think that having such a strict capsule wardrobe works for me. Yeah, I think that probably gives you a bit of an idea as to the type of person that I am. I am like type A to a T, but yeah. So The other thing is that you're obviously wearing your wardrobe a lot more, so you're wearing the same few pieces a lot more than you usually would, and it means that they can end up getting a bit more worn out than they would if you were wearing them in combination with everything else in your wardrobe. So I've got, on average, my wardrobe sits around the 80 to 100 mark and uh, what I sort of noticed is that yeah probably my sweaters are peeling a little bit more than they normally would but the flip side is you know you're not buying clothing to have it sit in your wardrobe you want to get as much wear out of it as possible and for me this kind of takes me to the point on investing in quality pieces because I find that the more money I've spent on something the longer it's likely to last and the better it's going to wear over time. I'll talk in a bit more detail about what I ended up swapping into my capsule, what I got rid of and why uh, on my blog and I'll link that down below once it goes live, uh, which might be before this video or after, but I'll kind of work that in there so that you guys can have a read if you're interested in that. But I hope otherwise that this kind of serves as a good pros and cons list for why you should or should not do Project 333 so that you can decide for yourself whether it is right for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was useful for you and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!